Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. If uh, you need to check that a file exists in a folder, which task or tasks will you use? So this is a very common scenario where sometimes we put a file in the folder and then uh, that can be a trigger file. Uh, depending on that file, you want to run some certain tasks in SSIS pa package. So let's create SSIS, SSIS package by going to the bids or SSDT. I am in an SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and I'm clicking on the project and uh, say create new SSIS package. Now we can rename this one. I'm going to rename this one PKG check file exist. To make sure the file exists, uh, we need to have a folder path from where we need to check uh, the file uh, uh, existence of a file. So we have a folder here uh, that uh, can change on different environments. So I'm going to uh, use uh, this file path in a variable and moving forward if we uh, deploy our package from uh, dev to the QA or UAT or SIT, we will be able to pass this value of a uh, uh, folder path to the variable by using the configuration. So I'm going to create a variable here called folder path. Also the file name can change uh, over the time and uh, we, we might want to consider that as well. Instead of just uh, uh, reading every file from here, we can create a variable and uh, we can call it file name. And that's where we can always pass the value for, for file we want to check for. So uh, here, in this case, uh, we are checking for uh, customer file.txt. So I'm going to copy that one and paste it here. Now the next part is uh, take a look uh, uh, in the set of tasks uh, we have here and uh, see which one Perf uh, can perform that one. Uh, if we take a look here, all those tasks, we do not see uh, a task that can give us uh, if the file exists or not. So we have to use a uh, script task here to perform that one. So here, uh, bring the script task. Also, as we want to pass the value back, uh, telling the file exists or not, we want to have some flag. I'm going to use uh, uh, let's say we want to run this uh, data flow task if the file exists and if the file does not exist we do not want to run this data flow so uh, we will be saving a value uh, of uh, um, uh, of file exist or not exist in some of the variable and I'm going to call that variable call file exist uh, flag and if uh, the file will exist, uh, this uh, the set uh, the value of this uh, variable will be set to one, and uh, we will use in uh, here in presence constraint, uh, and uh, that's how we will run it. So we are going to go here in the constraints uh, and uh, change to the expressions and say file exist flag is equal to equal to one. So if that will be true, that's uh, that's where um, our uh, uh, data flow task will run otherwise our data flow task will not run so i have put the condition already even we didn't set the value yet so i'm going to set the value in the script task now let's go to the script task open the script task by double clicking and then here we can select the language we want to use we have uh, c sharp or visual basic i'm going to use the c sharp here and uh, here define the variables from which you want to read the values so I'm going to read the folder path and file name um, so I can uh, check the file exists or not and then I'm gonna write the value for the uh, file exists flag so that's that's what I'm gonna set in the script task oh edit the script task let's get taken um, few few seconds and it will come back now we'll start writing our code here the name in the uh, upper uh, here we have namespaces already uh, some of them uh, come in as a default so what we have to do as we are dealing with the files uh, we will be adding one more uh, system.io so we can use the fun functions from that uh, namespace 
next part what we will be doing here we will be coming to the main part of the uh, program and then writing our code so what we have here uh, I have a folder path and a file name uh, variables and uh, that's uh, that from that's uh, uh, the location uh, from where I need to check the file so I'm gonna call this one string um, file I can make it maybe file uh, full path and that that should be equal to DTS dot variables and uh, in the variables we have uh, users user file uh, folder path and then what we have dot value dot to string and then uh, I'm uh, going to add that value with the um, let me here we will be adding uh, the value of uh, the variable that uh, that is DTS I can copy this whole thing here right here so we are building the complete path for the file with the here will be file name now we have saved the <coughs> excuse me we have saved the, the full the full um, file path in the uh, file path uh, variable here and now what we can do we can put some condition say if uh, and uh, start uh, here let me see and then we can say file dot exists if that's true and we have to provide the uh, path where the file is file full path and then close it and uh, if that's true what you need to do we need to say Then what we will be doing here, we will be writing um, DTS DTS dot variables, and then we have to provide the variable uh, name here. We can start the here with parentheses, and I can copy this one. Just uh, I have to rename the variable, so I'm gonna variable uh, rename the variable and call it uh, file exist exist uh, flag and then I can set this value to 1 and that's it so now <coughs> excuse me so now when we will run our pa uh, SSIS package and especially the script uh, part of that it is going to go to that folder and uh, uh, take a look uh, for that file if that file exists uh, what it is going to do it is going to set the value of file exist uh, variable to the one and that we have used in presence constraint uh, to run our data flow task or any other next task let's save the code and close this window and uh, hit ok now uh, let's run our SSIS package and see if it is working so we can see that the first task ran completed and then uh, the value was set uh, to 1 for the flag and that's how the data flow uh, ran successful as well. Now stop this package and uh, go back and change the name of the file uh, to underscore 1. In this case uh, now the file name is changed and that file what we were looking for we were looking for customer file.txt that is not existing there anymore. If I will run my SSIS package now it should not actually run the data flow task so you see that here the data flow task didn't run because the value in the variable is uh, not equal to a customer file so uh, the what we have here in the presence constraint the file exist flag is not set to one as the value were um, not, not, not equal to the customer file uh, now if I want to take a look I want to change the file name here I can change it to underscore one and uh, that's how we will be telling okay we are looking for this file and if I run this uh, SSIS package now 
it will run fine because the file does exist with this name and I have changed in the package okay we are looking for this file name and go ahead and run it and now data flow should run so that that's the way you will write your script task to um, uh, set the flag for file exist uh, as a variable and then use in the presence constraint to make sure that file exists before you run other tasks thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video